A big thank you to InstaWP for sponsoring this video. InstaWP is a great way to create, test and deploy WordPress websites in just one click. Today I'm going to take you behind the scenes and show you exactly how I built this beautiful one-pager website. For this one pager, I used the default 2024 theme. And the very, very first thing I did was go to my templates and add a brand new front page template. The very first thing I did was to add a group block right at the start of the page. And I gave it position sticky over on the right here, which means everything within it will stick to the top of the page. You can see as I scroll up now, my menu is sticking because it's inside that group block. With inside that group block, I added a header template part. Within that, I added another group block. This is the group block where I added the rounded corners. I went to styles, came down here, and I added a radius for that group block. I also added some glass morphism by adding some additional CSS. And I did that by coming to the group block, going to advanced, and putting in my custom CSS class here. Then I went to the website css.glass and created my frosted glass effect. By just playing with these sliders along here, you can see the effect changing at the top. Once I was happy with that, I just click copy CSS to clipboard. Then I went to global styles and added my glass class and just copy and pasted that CSS right in that box. Then within the navigation block, I had the social icons block, which is that little WordPress logo there. Then I had some page links. Then finally on the far right, I had this buttons block, which I styled by giving it a radius of 25. By the way, if you want to get hold of this design, I've created it as a free theme for you to download, link in description. Now for the main content, which was fairly straightforward. I started off by adding the cover block and I added some rounded corners just by selecting the cover block itself, coming across the styles, coming down to radius and added a radius of 25 pixels. Within the cover block, I just had a paragraph block, which I styled by making bold. Then underneath there, I had a group block. And within that group block to start with, I had the separator block, which is this wide line. I selected the wide line option over on the right. Underneath there, I had a buttons block, which I aligned left. I click on the buttons block and you can see I've also selected the outline view, outline style of the buttons block. And I put my text in. Underneath there, I just had three paragraph blocks, added some padding to the left and the right to style those. And then underneath there, I had another paragraph block and I just repeated that process until we get down to this block down here. The grid block uses CSS grid, so it's pretty cool. I've added the grid block and then over on the right, I set a minimum column width of 350 pixels. That means when this is viewed on different devices, it will maintain that column width. Within the grid block, I've added a whole bunch of stack blocks. The stack block is a group block that you can stack vertically. Now within the stack block, I've added the social icons block here and a group block underneath, which contains my buttons block and also my text here. That means I can squish them together. If I click on the stack block, I've chosen this option here, which is stretch items between. That lets me add space between the top and the bottom of those blocks. So I've chosen that option, then come here and just increase the block spacing. That's how I get the social icons at the top and this group block down below. To add this little border around my cards, I've selected the stack block and then come down here to styles. I've added a little gray border and also a radius of 10 pixels. Underneath the grid layout of these cards, I've just added a block pattern. It's actually one of the block patterns that comes with the 2024 theme. It's called the FAQ block pattern. And within that pattern, it actually contains the details block, which gives you these nice accordion effects. And then I've added that block and then all I've done is change the style and the color of the heading block that comes with it. And then the subscriber sign up box is actually also one of the block patterns that comes with the 2024 theme. It's a call to action block pattern. And all I've done is add it to the page. And then for the footer section, I just chose one of the default block patterns that comes as an option with the 2024 theme. And then the final task is to add the smooth scroll so that when somebody clicks on a menu item, they automatically scroll down to the correct place within the page. To do that, click on the menu item you want to scroll, come across to settings and go hash, and then put the name of your link. Then go down to the place in the page where you want it to link, in this case, sectors, click on the block, come across to the right and click on settings here and advanced. And then within the HTML anchor, you put the same name that you put up above. And then to get the smooth scroll, rather than it just jumping to that point, you need a tiny bit of CSS, which I've got over on the right. And I will put this in the description for you as well. 
so you can copy and paste it on your own sites. So there you go, that's how you build your very own one pager smooth scrolling website. Remember, there is a link in the description below to download that as a theme for yourselves. It's completely free, so just click on that link. You'll also get a whole bunch of other themes that I've designed as well, completely for free. If you enjoyed this one and found it useful, if you can hit the like button down below now, it'd be fantastic because it makes a huge, 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 huge difference in terms of how many people get to see this video. It really, really does. So thank you if you can hit that like button. And also, every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat. If you want to see more website teardowns, then hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified every time I release a new one. Keep well, and I'll see you soon.